SketchUp. Oh, How's you're, you're from Google? Or? SketchUp. Yes, I'm from Google. Okay. But I'm glad you asked because that's actually why we're here. <laughs> All right. SketchUp has uh, created a a plugin, and you can go into SketchUp, right. and within SketchUp you can uh, first of all use Google Earth to zoom into wherever you want. Okay, you go into the, the SketchUp program and. You can click a button, it'll take a screenshot of, of the map, bring it into uh, SketchUp, you can build your model on it, place your model on that map, then you can re-export your model. And here's an example of a model that we uh, brought into SketchUp and then exported into Google Earth. Statue of Liberty. Wow. Yeah. It, so if you actually look at the overhead view of the satellite data, you know, that's, that's what the satellite data looks like, but if someone wanted to visualize the Statue of Liberty, they actually built it.
Yeah, there's a huge potential for this. Oh, yeah. Um, and there's, a, I've got a couple other ones on here. Let's see. Uh, oh no, I don't. Thought I did. Okay. Go to the Washington Airport. That's another one. So dot KMZ is a SketchUp native format. Uh, no, KMZ is a uh, it's a Google Earth uh, zipped file. It's basically a zipped XML file that we use for put, storing 3D content. Here, someone modeled the Washington Dulles Airport using SketchUp. They even put some planes on the runway. And yeah, <laughs> it's impressive. Hi. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Sure, my name is uh, Edgar Matthias. I'm the president of uh, Matthias, and we do the uh, uh, half keyboard and the half keyboard X2. Uh, they're one-handed keyboards. They allow you to type with one hand using your existing skills. Great. Um, and they're right here. And basically the way they work, uh, this is the half keyboard. This is the half keyboard X2, the larger one. Uh, they're one-handed keyboards, and uh, I can type with one hand using my existing skills. Now this one, the half keyboard X2, also lets me type uh, with two hands. So I can type just like I normally do, with two hands. Uh, and uh, But I can also type with just one hand. And I can type with my left hand. I can type with my right hand. Uh, and the way it works, normally you type with both hands on the keyboard in the home row. With this, you type with just one. Uh, I can type just like I normally do with my uh, with the one hand. Uh, so that that gets me uh, uh, the one hand without having to relearn anything. But I'm still uh, I still need to be able to type the other side of the keyboard. So to do that, I hold down the space bar. When I do that, it takes all the letters from the other side and moves them to the side of the keyboard that I'm typing on uh, in the same pattern as before. So normally to do J, I would use the index finger of the right hand. Uh, for this one, I'd hold down the space bar and use the index finger of the left hand. To do P, it's normally little finger. In this case, it's little finger of the left hand. So on the same keyboard, I can type almost as fast as with two hands, even though I'm just using the one hand. Um, and it works either hand. Uh, the other nice thing about this keyboard is, because it's a standard keyboard, it works just like a normal keyboard does. So I can use it for everything the normal keyboard does, uh, except I also have one-handed typing as an option. So if uh, I'm using the mouse, for instance, uh, there are situations when you're editing a document where on a normal keyboard you'd be scrolling around, you double-click on a word, and then you move your hand back to the keyboard to type the change. And then you go to the next one, you use the mouse, you go back and forth. So you right. basically go back and forth and back and forth. But this one, I have the option of leaving my hand on the keyboard and then just using the, the keyboard, using the mouse, using the keyboard, and I've eliminated that back and forth. Uh, it's also good in situations where, say, you're drinking your coffee, uh, or you're talking on the phone. Uh, uh, one person came by, he had a kid in one arm, he was saying, oh, I can hold my, uh, I can hold my son and I can type while I'm doing that. The half keyboard is nice because it's so small, I can position it anywhere I want on the desk and, and it leaves the front of my desk free. Uh, if I have a tablet, it's, it's usually where the keyboard is. I have no, no space for the keyboard. With this, I can keep the tablet in the center, I can have the keyboard on the side, and I can type text or I can select tools uh, with tablets. Most of the people are probably using it mainly to select uh, different tools. Uh, I, can, I don't even need to learn how to type, I just need to measure which or uh, memorize uh, which uh, which letters correspond to which tools. So you're saying that you can program each key? Uh, uh, you can do that, uh, but actually with uh, most uh, most uh, photo applications, uh, like Photoshop for example, there's already a key associated with a certain tool. Right. So if I hit D, it's a certain tool, or E, it's a certain tool. So okay. I just have to know which, which letter corresponds to which tool.
Okay, sounds good. Um, one, one last question. How sure. long does it typically take for a normal person to adjust to the one-handed yeah. keyboard? Um, if you don't know how to type at all, it takes the same amount of time as learning regular typing. Okay. If you already know how to touch type with two hands, it, it's almost immediate. Uh, you Half of it is exactly like you already know. Uh, because it's a regular keyboard, the one side, and the other half is very similar. So I've had people where I just explained to them how it worked, and they started typing right away. Um, and you'll typically, in the beginning, you'll, uh, you won't be very fast, but it'll increase in speed rapidly. Within the first hour, you'll get up to about 13 words a minute. After 10 hours, you'll get up to about 35. And then after, say, 20 to 40 hours, you'll end up somewhere between 75% and 88% of your two-handed speed. Uh, we've tested people who got as high as 64 words a minute. So you can type really fast. Wow. Almost as fast as with, as with two hands. And it's just a convenience. Um, um, is, there, is there a version where it will work with PDAs or anything else like that? Uh, not, not at the moment. We used to make one for the Palm, right. uh, but Palm kept changing their connectors on us. So, uh, and then they changed the OS on us. Uh, so that broke the driver, and uh, we haven't really done one for okay. PDA since then. But with any luck, uh, PDAs will uh, start using standard interfaces like USB, and okay. then they'll be able to use these again. Great. Um, the half keyboard is, is shipping right now. It's uh, $99.95. Uh, Dr. Bot is selling it here at the show for $79.95. The, the half keyboard, yes. $79.95, Dr. Bot? Yes. Uh, and the half keyboard X2 is going to ship in about three months. It's going to sell for $49.95. That's a larger one. So it's half the cost of the uh, of the half keyboard, and um, uh, we're offering free shipping to anybody who pre orders. Uh, you can get more information at halfkeyboard.com. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, can Hi. you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Dimitri, and uh, I work at Unicorn Systems. Okay. Uh, and we're introducing two consumer products uh, at this uh, Mac Expo. Okay. So we have uh, two products, MCOPY and MBridge. MCOPY is a simple product having two high-speed USB uh, host ports that you can connect your uh, two iPods and transfer music between them. Okay. So we do absolutely legal transfer. If there's two iPods connected to one account, uh, you will transfer files and you can play music. Okay. Uh, if it's um, if two um, iPods connected to different accounts, you still can copy, but it will not play. Oh. But you can use it uh, as a you know backup music from small iPod to big one. Okay. Also, you can connect any USB devices to uh, to these high-speed USB ports, like digital cameras. You know how many times we go to party and uh, we're taking pictures of each other. Right. And we want to share it after the party, right? Mm -hmm. So, but we cannot because computer is not around. Right. So this guy will allow to transfer pictures from one camera to another one. Okay. You also can see them on the screen. You know, like thumbnails. You also can uh, uh, tap on a picture. You know, see it full screen. You know, do simple editing like red eye reduction. With the stylus, you can sign a picture. You know, and transfer it to your friend. Okay. Uh, so with this device, we're trying to exclude computer from everyday multimedia needs. You know, uh, with people. Okay. So uh, you can transfer uh, music, you can transfer pictures, you can dump all your uh, pictures what you take on your hard drive based iPod mm -hmm. because you already paid like a lot of money right. for this, right? So also if you have uh, PSP, you can transfer music from iPod to PSP and uh, uh, back and forth. Okay. Uh, so another product we call it Embridge. Uh, it adds Wi-Fi wireless capability to this product. So uh, with wireless, at any hotspot, like in a Starbucks mm -hmm. or here at uh, this exhibition, right. you can connect to iTunes 
and download music without any computer directly to your iPod. Oh, it actually talks to the iPod, uh, iTunes Music Store? Exactly. Oh. So we support different providers like MP3 Tunes, Yaha Music. So you can buy music directly to, uh, to your iPod and you don't need your laptop or desktop computer. So also, uh, if, you are, uh, if you have digital camera, mm -hmm. you connect it and you can upload your pictures to, uh, for example, Shutterfly to print them. So they will print and send by mail to you. So right? does this, does it, will you have to use a web browser to, to go to Shutterfly, for example, or how does it work? Uh, we have predefined accounts. Okay. to major uh, service providers. Oh, so like you have APIs of exactly, built in. Exactly. Okay. So we're trying to keep it very simple and easy to use. And web browsing is not very simple. You know, yeah. you, you have to do a lot of clicks, you know, to do this. Right. But here you want to do it fast and quick, right? Not to lose any time. So uh, also, if you have pictures, you can select a picture uh, connect here your um, uh, headset with a microphone, add some audio commentaries, uh, you know, write a simple message and upload it to your blog website like, like uh, MySpace. Right. So, and uh, your friends will immediately see it. Also, you can uh, email pictures to your friend, you know, with this device. Okay. And also, uh, we support chat clients. Okay. So 18one will support ICQ, MSN, IM, I mean actually all of them uh, in one nice application. So you can chat with your friends within Wi-Fi for free. Right? So no more 10 cents per message. Mm. So it's completely free. So uh, we trying to actually to bring a solution. Like can you imagine a teenager hanging out on a shopping mall with a laptop? Yeah. I can imagine this, I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, it is going to be like small, you know, in nice box. Okay, so and this is the prototype. Exactly. Okay. So, we're going in production in uh, the summer. Okay. And uh, for M copy, it will be like about uh, $110. Okay. And M bridge, about $150. Okay. Do you so, have a website that we can go to? Yes, yeah, so now our website www.uniconsys.com Okay. Uh, starting from February, we will take pre-orders. Okay, great. Download it, reflash it. This is, of course, just giving you an idea. It's really nice for you here. Up to double your this is regarding Textile Protege, which is our bootable firewire drive. As you can see here, it is a firewire device. It's a one gig device. And we have about 250 megabytes still available on the device itself, which allows you to add additional utilities to it, boot up from this drive. And as you can see here, we have a selection of utilities that you can use for your maintenance, uh, your maintenance routines or your daily maintenance or monthly maintenance, if you will. Uh, we have a full copy of Pro 4 a full copy of this studio, yeah. and then we add disk utility, system profiler, and terminal. Absolutely. Now, yes, since we, we have do. additional free right, space on there, go. you can add your own favorite utilities to it as well. If you want it to be diskware, let it be diskware. If you want yeah. it to be uh, a shareware it's utility, put a shareware so utility, it'll, it'll show up in this window okay. automatically. She sips from pretty flowers to make her voice clear